on a cross. I'm still John and Josephine. Good morning, bonjour. Welcome to our class. Here says one, two, three. Basic communication in French. I'm Miss Nidipo, one of your first lecturers. Our lesson today is basically on acquiring the new vocabulary. You know, as time goes on, this is how the vocabulary increases in French. I think so is also in English. Once more, once again, bonjour à tout le monde. Hi, and happy new year. We are going to see new words in French. You know, vocabulary is large, and in French, for example, if you take a word like, you want to say good morning in French, Say hello, not only bonjour. You can say hello, bonjour, or good day. So it depends on the sentence you make. In the evening, you know, sometimes some people also say bonjour, even David, because they have not seen the person you are talking to this morning. So you can also say bonjour, even in the evening. You have bonsoir, bonsoir, good evening. You know, it's made only for the evening. Sometimes you can say bonsoir in the afternoon. It's acceptable. When you say bonne nuit, bonne nuit means good night. When you're about to go to bed, say good night. And the bonne nuit is written in two words. Bonne nuit. Two words. <laughs> Salut is also a form of greeting, you know. Salut, hi, or bye. Yes. And you have a, another form, you know, when you want to ask somebody something or you want to apologize. The s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît is formal. You know, there's two ways formal. And informal. When you want to use the formal way, you say "s'il vous plaît." And once you want to use the informal way, you say "s'il te plaît." "S'il te plaît" means what? Please. To you, is informal way. And when you say "s'il vous plaît," it's a formal way. You are talking to your superior. You are talking to me. You are talking to your teacher. You are talking to anybody that someone that's in your school. Then what you want to say, s'il te plaît. S'il te plaît, you are saying to let us say your mother or your friend by your side. Okay? Uh, a way to thank somebody, you know, and you want to thank somebody. You say, merci. You are used to it. Merci. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. You know, beaucoup is added to merci. And that beaucoup is an adjective. It's also used as an adverb. Adverb of what? A, a, an adverb of quantity, of course. We have de rien, de rien, which is also, you know, used as an adverb. De rien means, you know, you are welcome or don't mention. Okay, are you hearing me? What do want to say? Maybe, uh, I'm sorry, or please forgive me. You just say, je vous en prie. It's a, a new expression, je vous en prie. S'il vous plaît, je vous en prie. You are welcome. When you say bienvenue, bienvenue means welcome. You know, when you say je vous en prie, je vous en prie is a formal way of say, to say you are welcome. The other one, bienvenue is to welcome somebody. Someone that comes somewhere. Bienvenue is a, 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 je vous en prie, a sort of excuse, you know. Yeah. Let's move to the next uh, page. Uh, when it comes to animals, insects, you know, classes, we have several animals which you need to know their names. For example, in French, when you want to talk about an eagle, eagle, you say what? An eagle. 
you do what we call liaison. Liaison is what? The connection, the link between the last syllable or the last consonant with the vowel that follows. That's what we say, un aigle. Instead of un aigle, which is bad. An egg, in English we say what? An eagle. Previously, we were taught about the definite and indefinite articles. That's why you see the difference. You put an egg because you don't know which eagle, which egg you are talking about. That's why it's an egg. With, with, also, you have a nan. What is an? An is a donkey. All of us know what is donkey, right? A donkey. Un bélier. These are masculine adjectives you know, and words. Un kafar, a cockroach. Un canard, a duck. Duck, not dog. Duck. Do you speak here? You have a char, a cat, you have a, a cheval, you know, etc. etc. You have an escargo, which is snail, you can also have let's follow in your book. When it comes to fruits, you must know the names of fruits since you are used to eat them. Pom, pom. Generally, pom is an apple. You have different sorts of pom. You have, uh, in French, la pomme de terre. La pomme de terre in French. You have la pomme de France, which is commonly called, so in English, we call it apple. Apple. La pomme, which is a feminine word. That's why you see we use the, this article, which is definite article, la pomme de France. La pomme de France, an apple. La banane, these are feminine uh, words. That's why you see that we use the feminine article and definite article. And concombre. Concombre is what? Concombre is cucumber. Cucumber is a fruit you like. Isn't it? We have an eye. An eye. Generally, we call it la goose dye because you know, it's a block, it's garlic. But when they say an eye, it's a part of that block of garlic. When they say it's a part, a part of the block of garlic, it's not a garlic type that is called an eye. We have le citron, le citron, a citron. Le citron is lemon. But generally, in French, we call the big one, which is popular. We call the, the, the what they call it, that big one. That's Spine around. It's also called lemon, citron in French. We have le maïs, a vegetable, maïs or corn in English. Another word, maize. We have uh, la poire. Poire is a fruit. Poire is a fruit. La poire, which is pear. Pear in English. We have un oignon. We don't say un oignon. Un Onion is written O E G N O N. In English, onion. When the sun, you know the sun, onion, onion. We have in you know, orange. In you know, orange, orange is orange. Just a, a food that people like. We have la banana. Bananas. We have uh, anana, an anana. Pineapple, we have la pomme de terre. As I was talking, I was saying something previously. We we're talking about apple. We encounter this pomme again, which you have to see the difference. We have la pomme de France, which is that apple we always buy in the street or in supermarket. And now we have pomme de terre. This pomme de terre is sweet potato, popular known. Wait, la tomate. Tomate is tomato. We have a citron ver. The citron ver is this small lemon or lime that is oftenly used. It's popular. 